and welcome to Kadrarific. In previous video, we saw how you can prepare features and save them in CSV file. This video is actually part two of that video. I am back to my spider editor where you see that I have already imported the imported libraries that I'm going to use. In this program, we are going to work on MNIST images. To do that, I have uh, imported the MNIST dataset. And uh, if you don't know how to, you can watch my previous video in which I have shown you how we can read MNIST dataset set and how we can do indexing over different images in it i have added a link to this video in my description box i recommend you to watch that video before continue watching this video so this data set i have extracted using the tensorflow keras data set as you know it generates four subsets and to carry those subsets i have created four variables as you can see in my variable explorer there are already generated four subsets of uh, mnist images and uh, you can see how large this each subset is i don't want to work on all of these images rather than i am going to pick first nine images with nine labels starting from zero to nine and i will work on those 10 images first i have created two empty arrays new array will be carrying out my output nine images starting from zero to nine which will be actually 10 images and new label will be carrying the labels of each image this is the same method that i have shown in my previous video you will find the link to that video in my description box but here i have added another line to record my new label apart from images i am going to index through y train y train actually carry the labels of each image and uh, out of these i am going to index so that along with each image i get its label you can see in my variable export that the new array and new label are in the format of list before pre-processing i am going to convert them into numpy array now we can see that the new arrays are in perfect shape so this is the images and to see if i have correct images starting from 0 to 9 i am going to print them now we can verify that we have correct images starting from 0 to 9 and uh, this image 0 label will be in new label at index 0 the new array and new label are already in correct positions that's why i don't need to sort them you can see that each image is unsigned integer i want to convert them into float to do that i'm going to create a function named load underscore images underscore data and to this function i will pass new array and this function will generate images preprocessed data so i have started writing the definition of uh, load underscore images underscore data that will take input images first i have created an empty array that will carry the preprocessed data first i'm going to run a loop over the images that i receive from calling of this function first i'm going to convert each image by indexing through i and inside this loop i am going to iterate through each image using iterator i and uh, divide it by 255 so that uh, the unsigned integer value is now in float and here is a twist that i am going to use this is the np.ravel function that actually converts a two-dimensional or multi-dimensional image into one dimension for example I have uh, one image of dimension 28 by 28 using this np.ravel function and I am going to append this raveled image into my new images data finally I am going to return it outside the loop now I am going to call this function over my new array data if I click on the values of images data you can see that now each image has dimension 28 multiplied by 28 in other words Words, my multi-dimensional image is now in a linear format and to pre-process this images data i am going to use principal component analysis and from sklearn.decomposition i have picked this feature principal component analysis actually reduces the dimension of uh, image here we can decide what percentage of important components we can keep to use the pca computation i am going to create a function named explain variance this function will take x to 2 parameters the last parameter will be the images data set that i have pre-processed first parameter it will take the percentage based on which it will decide
decide how many important components to keep. Inside this function, using the percentage, first I have treated the object of PCA and assigned it to PCA variable. Next, I'm going to fit my image data set based on this PCA object. Once my data set is fit, now I am going to transform my image data set and the processed images will be returned into component variable finally i am going to return the components next i am going to call this explain variable function as you can see the first parameter i have passed is the percentage so here i have decided to keep only the 80 percent important components and then the second parameter is the image data set that i pre-processed so i have changed the variable pca underscore data and uh, now it makes more sense the pca data will be our return data set from explain variance function For run this function now i'm going to call it in my variable explorer you can see that the pc underscore data has been created and the shape of it is 10 by 6 and if i click on the values you can see that for each image it has generated six vectors features now i am going to write my csv in the same manner that we did in the part one first i have created a dictionary that will carry out my array of new label and using this dictionary i am going to to generate a data frame remember that new label is not a scalar value it is a vector and uh, to force the csv file to save each vector row by row i am going to run a loop over out items if i run out dot item you will see that uh, in my ipython console that the image name is the same but it has a value as a vector image underscore name will be our key name for each of element inside this vector and the using this keys and value i am going to create panda series that will take value let's run this line in my variable explorer we can see that the df1 has been generated if i click on its value you can see now under the image name column we have got a vector as row each of its element are placed inside every separate row next we are going to create another data frame that will save our pca data for each image so previously in our first data frame because we knew the perfect name of our column we didn't need to use the prefix but instead of specifying one column name we have uh, use the prefix feeds so it will generate columns starting from feeds and uh, to save each element inside this vector it will generate columns feed 0 feed 1 feed 2 and so on now i have created all of the important data frames next i am going to concatenate all of them i have run these lines and uh, let's see the value of our result variable you can see that the data frame has shaped 10 by 7 in the result data frame we can now see that each of our image has been assigned its corresponding feature vector finally we are going to write our result data frame using the same line as we did in previous part of this video this is it for this video thank you for watching i hope you find it helpful if you did do like and share also subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video if you have any suggestions leave them in comments section i will do consider it thank you